Let's see what some people are saying. What an expensive disappointment. What a dump. Horrendous experience from start to finish. Worst hotel we have stayed in and we've been to Pontins. <laughs> Worst hotel I've been in. Don't go here. Dreadful. Stay anywhere but here. Freezing cold and outdated. And this one I like. Left without staying. As always, TripAdvisor reviews can be a little bit finicky, so I thought I'd go and check it out for myself. Some people were complaining about how cold the hotel is, and I've just figured out why. These are lovely stained glass windows, but if you look closely, Is that blood stains on the neck curtains? I can only imagine what that must be. That is really pretty. The windows, if you want to have a look outside, the view is not overly great. literally just after 7 30 so it's actually quite a late check-in so uh, I hope they'll be accommodating because I've been to some hotels where I've done a late check-in and they've given my room away let's hope that doesn't happen here so this part of Blackpool obviously just north of North Pier there's quite a few hotels I wonder if I have to pay for my parking it looks a very grand hotel on the corner here can I park in here Found a space. It's gonna be tight. And it's lovely weather for it. So it's about to throw it down. Literally, I can see the rain over the sea. Let's get in. Hello, just checking in please. Hi, uh, it's Tim. You on the third floor for you? He's just inside with your Third Thank you very much. Not floor. Third floor. This is tight, isn't it? And yeah. It? And it's the it's only very lift. narrow. It's the only is lift it? in the place. Oh, oh, is it really? How many floors is it? Ten. <laughs> it's only three. You've had a drink, you haven't you? It's only three. A drink. Yeah, coffee. It's only coffee. three floors. Yeah. Yeah, but three floors is a lot when you're um, got bad knees and Oh yeah, hips I know. Yeah, but you're only young. Young. How yeah. old do you think I am? Um, <laughs> you don't know what to say, do you? Uh, Thirty-seven. Oh, I love you. Oh, you've got. Oh one. no, I'm up. No, hang on. No, is this? Where are you? Is this? Is no, oh, this is your not, one. See you later, ladies. It's lit up. Don't have anything it's more to drink, will you? No, we don't. <laughs> See, you're never too old to flirt. Hope Gabby won't be jealous. Door opens. Actually, I didn't really check out the lift. I did see the fact that's all been dented, but there you go. So three, two, two. Once again, this is a very grand hotel. Oh, I love that creaky floor. Well, first impressions, it looks posh. There's the stairs. <laughs> I'll have a walk down those later. I love all these old doors. Like, where do they go? I want to know. I can't get in there, it's a key lock. They got a new carpet, not sure. So three, two, two. Someone's sprayed some fragrance. Why is it every hotel I go to, it reminds me of The Shining? This carpet, especially. I can almost see a little boy on a trike going up there and two girls standing at the end. Literally right where I'm going, actually. Oh my God, yeah, it is. <laughs> right at the end, how random is that? Of the corridor is my room next to a secret door. The heck's that about? Part of the ceiling's coming down there. All right, here we go. So this is a one bedroom, single room. Ugh. Hang on, that's a bit stiff. Here we go. Well, I ordered a one bedroom, but this looks like it's a, it's a twin. Where's the light? So let's check out the room, shall we? Wow, can you hear that? Listen. 
classic old hotel creaky noise. Extremely creaky floor, but that's not too much of a problem because uh, I'll be here on my own. Fine, I'm just actually walking into the box. Hang on. I thought that was marble for a second. I like the marble effect though, it looks nice. And I have to say, this, this room actually smells really nice. It's got that classic kind of seaside hotel smell. You'll know what I mean if you've ever stayed in a seaside hotel before. So first things first, let's check out the kettle as always. Well, there's less some water in there for me. Yeah, the cups, they look good. Everything looks fine. Again, it's the same kind of furniture and no doubt if I open this, there should be a hairdryer. Now the carpet has got some interesting white stains pretty much everywhere when you come in. I know if you set some more there, some there, and there's some over here. First of all, I don't think I'm gonna go on this bed because as I look here, I think the bed is a little bit flimsy. So uh, I think I'll take this bed, but let's do a bed test. Oh, I can really feel the springs. Wow, I can feel almost every spring. Now, believe it or not, I can see they've got like a mattress topper on here. Yeah, they have. Look at that. That is like the thinnest mattress topper ever. There's like no cushion there whatsoever. Okay, so this bed, I can feel the springs, but this one, wow, that is really bad. Oh, that hurts. That actually hurts my bum. And um, whoever was here last, or maybe the cleaner had some long hair, but there's hair all over the bed. There, there as well, how lovely. Big old deep drawers. And somewhere to put your suitcase, which is handy. Wardrobe here, oh, with extra bedding. And we've even got the, uh, the posh coat hangers as well. So I thought this was a rail to put your clothes on, but this is a hot water pipe or a cold water pipe. And every so often it clunks. So that's gonna make sleeping interesting. This is like the hardest door. It doesn't actually shut on its own. So I have to really, really, blue neck, really push it shut. It looks like this has been refitted recently, to be honest. Um, toilet seat left up, how lovely. Now I know these are non-slip, but I personally hate these because I think these never ever get cleaned. That looks like some kind of bogey. They're really grimy and smelly and yeah, I know they serve a purpose. And it wouldn't be complete without a pubic hair in the bath. We've got some soap, some Britannia soap here. And then of course the bath, stroke shower. And the bath is actually clean. Apart from these black marks on the bath, the enamel has come off in parts, so it's been chipped. But for some reason the filler has been black. That looks a little bit dirty, doesn't it? But apart from that, the bathroom looks good. The bedroom looks good. So maybe I got lucky with this room. I don't know. But one thing that isn't overly that great is the windows. They do have new curtains. The windows, if you want to have a look outside, the view is not overly great, as you can see. But they do open, even though there's no handle on that one. Is that blood stains on the neck curtains? Room with a view. On a day like today, I kind of got a sea view. I have got a sea view, actually. Definitely got the shining vibes in this hallway. Anyway, let's go and check out the rest of the hotel. Random thing to say, I know, but what a cool little fire exit. You can hear the running water as well, really strangely. I guess it's coming from there. So this is the square bit of the hotel because it kind of goes round. To say it looks grim is an understatement, but thankfully, this is not my view. Do some of these rooms have this view? Let us know in the comments, because that does not look good. It's really interesting, they've got these phones to contact reception. So they don't have them in the rooms, but they do have them in the hallway. So the hotel goes in a big square. So there's more rooms up there, more rooms down there. I'd love to get in that room. Look at the old tiles on the roof. They are well old slate. Someone's been doing some painting and left the ring. I have to say the uh, the floor does look like it does need to have a bit of a hoover. Whether it gets hoovered, I don't know. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but it is pretty grim. <laughs> Did you hear that? I could hear somebody yawning. I've noticed there's not many signs into where the stairs are and how to get out. I'll tell you what, there's a smell of uh, stale smoke still from obviously when this was a smoking hotel. That lift does not look appealing. I'm gonna take the stairs. Ugh. 
This is a very grand staircase. Look at the stained glass windows. Getting out to that lovely view. Oh, this is very grand. All the action's going on down there. Yeah, it's a shame there's only one lift when there's a lot of elderly people staying here at the moment. Look at that ladies' powder room. Old fashioned or what? So they are doing some work to update things, it looks like. Look at that clock. Some people were complaining about how cold the hotel is and I've just figured out why. These are lovely stained glass windows, but if you look closely, yep, that's the outside. The wood has completely rotten away. And so obviously that will let the draft in. These look so old. I wonder how old they must be. Look at the ceiling, that is amazing. So I'm just gate crashing this event at the moment, but look at the ceiling in here. That is absolutely amazing. I think they're doing some line dancing at the moment. Wow, there's even more rooms down here. The Savoy Suite, I don't think I should be in here. But I just come back down to reception to show you how grand the entrance is. It is really beautiful. Feels like you've stepped back into the uh, 1920s or something. Other rooms up here, so you can get married in this hotel. Very posh. So all these rooms have got big old plaques in front of them. The Derby room. See, all these are open, so you could just have a, a nose and a walk around. That's the other room where that event is going on. But yeah, come in here and get married. Look at that old Savoy sign. So this room is the Cumbrian room. Another room with creaky floors. I think this is set up for like a civil ceremony. I wonder who sits on the leather chairs though. I'll take it, that's just a cupboard. Some really random old furniture. There's a little bit of a stage here then. Is it too late to go in the restaurant? Guess it's closed, no, it's still open. Wow, this is special. Look at the ceiling. Wow, that is really pretty. Look at the doors, it feels like I'm sitting in the Titanic. Are you still seven feet? No, we're finished now. Oh, you're finished? Yeah. Some nice seating up here. So you've got that really nice restaurant up there and then some extra seating here, I guess, when it gets full. This isn't as nice though, is it? You guys asked me to come to this hotel. It's had over 1,100 terrible reviews and I can't actually figure out why. Cosmetically, there are a few bits that need changing. First of all, the mattresses, the windows look a little bit grim, the carpet might need changing and indeed hoovering in some parts. But apart from that, I was debating whether to put this video up because I thought to myself, well, it's actually really not that bad, but just goes to show that you can't always believe the terrible reviews. The hotel itself does look like it's been going through a bit of an upgrade uh, with new carpets, new curtains, new bathrooms. So let us know in the comments if you've actually stayed here and what you thought, and let me know if it's haunted as well. By the way, while I'm in Blackpool, if you wanna see the other side of Blackpool, click this video here, or the worst rated hotel in Blackpool that I found click here. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.